In this video, I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and stream to kick utilizing OBS Studio. Let's go ahead and dive in. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to have your OBS Studio open. If you don't have OBS Studio downloaded, I'll put a link in the description of this video. Once you have OBS Studio open, you're gonna to wanna to come here to the bottom right and select settings. That's gonna go ahead and bring up a menu just like this. Now, the first thing that we want to make sure is that our video settings are correct. That way when we stream to kick, it looks good. So we need to have the base canvas to be a 1920 by 1080, output scale 1920 by 1080, and the common FPS values be at 60. Once you have that in place, you're gonna to wanna to come to where it says stream, and you're gonna to wanna to go to where it says service, and you're gonna to wanna to select custom. This is gonna go ahead and ask you for your server and your stream key. So to be able to get that information, we need to go over to Kick. So what you wanna do is you wanna to go to kick.com, and I'll put a link in the description of this video. You're gonna click on your profile image, and you're gonna to come to where it says settings. Once you select that, you're gonna come here to where it says stream key. Now you're gonna see here the stream URL. You're gonna copy that. We're gonna come back here into OBS and you're gonna paste that where it says server. Then you're gonna come back to kick and you're gonna go ahead and select the stream key and copy this. And it's super important that you don't share the stream key with anyone because anyone who has that stream key is gonna be able to stream on your account. So then we'll come back to OBS. We'll go ahead and paste that in there and then we'll go ahead and press OK. Now we're connected directly to Kick. So if we come back into settings and you come here to stream, when you go live, it's gonna push you over to Kick. And I'll show you here an example in just a few moments. But before we can go live on Kick, you need to make sure that your stream settings are good. Otherwise, you're gonna have a laggy and choppy stream. So to be able to fix that, you wanna come to here where it says output. And we're gonna to come to where it says streaming and output mode, you wanna select advanced. Now, the most important thing that we want to focus on is gonna be the CBRR bit rate. So you want to be able to set this at at least 6,000 minimum. 7,750 is a sweet spot, but you can do 6,000. But how do you know if you can afford to be able to use 6,000 without having lag? So to be able to check that, you wanna to come to speedtest.net and I'll put a link in the description of this video. And what you wanna look at is your upload speed. This is what's gonna determine what you can utilize inside of OBS. So if you have a 12 upload speed or higher, you're going to be able to utilize the 6,000 speed inside of OBS. And then you wanna have your keyframe intervals at two and your profile at high. And then for your encoder, you wanna use your hardware encoder or X264 to be able to get the best experience there. So now we wanna go ahead and test that. So if we hit start streaming, it's gonna go ahead and say connecting and then it's gonna say stop streaming and that's how you know that you're live. So what we wanna do is we wanna come back here to kick we want to come to our dashboard, click channel, and then we should see that we're live and you see my starting soon. You see that it's looking smooth. There's no lag. Everything is running perfectly. So now that you're connected to Kick and you're able to stream on OBS Studio, you don't want to have a boring looking stream. So go ahead and watch this video right here where I walk you step by step on how to set up overlays inside of OBS so that way your stream on Kick looks professional. I'll see you guys in the next video.